represent. This is what I do. You are now listening to the most electrified and vilified podcast on the net. Hot Topics Podcast. Let's get this party started. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Hot Topics Podcast. I'm Psycho4081. I'm Lamb Chop. And the chosen name for me, which is not my name. Juice. <laughs> Whatever. I think you're gonna be stuck with that one now. <laughs> I think you're just gonna be juicy. The notorious felonious feather. Just felonious feathers. International criminal at large. Whatever. She is not Carmen San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> How you guys doing today? I'm doing. How you doing? Good, good, good. And some of us had to go to work. Some of us had to work. Actually, work. Facts. Hey, don't blame me. Yes, don't I had to me. work. So it was a lot of stuff that went on this week. Oh my goodness, yes. Um, I don't, I'm not sure we did. We talked about um, joy. If we didn't even talk about anything, we have something interesting to talk about, which is the eating of cats and dogs. We're going to get to that too. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, we did not. Nelly. Yeah, <laughs> so, we did not talk about the loss of Frankie Beverly. Uh, okay, yeah. Frankie Beverly, yeah. Um, he was, what, 70? I don't know. He was, I think, because he was around the same, I think he was the same age as my father. So I think he was born in 1946. Oh, I'm he like, Which I should have pulled some up, some stuff mom. up from him. But yeah. Um, and, and, and even the young kids these days, they know Frankie Beverly because Absolutely. I don't care what prom you're in, they're going to play a Frankie Beverly song. Yep. Was it usually as the, uh, before is the, I let go. Yes. Mm-hmm. Before I let go. Yeah, yep. that's right. Or, or joy and pain. Jo- yep, yep. 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 So he was 77, 77. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Legendary. And, and, um, to piggyback on that, Tito Jackson died today and he was 70. Why are you people always killing everybody on our <laughs> podcast? <laughs> it's always, always dying. Hey, it's remembrance. It's rem- we're celebrating. It is rem- oh we are absolutely celebrating. Do you know who? These were great talents. Exactly. Do you know who T- um, Tito Jackson was? Yeah, it's one of the Jackson Five. Look oh, at you. Because yeah, you told me this morning. I, <laughs> <laughs> I was all excited for a minute. <laughs> It's like the Jackson Fives. No, no, no. I said T- I don't know who that is. You're like, oh yeah, one of the Jacks. I'm like, oh okay. Tito was the one who didn't sing. Oh. He, yeah, he, played he played the guitar, guitar. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. and he actually went on to become an accomplished studio engineer. I mean, a studio oh, musician. Oh, I didn't know oh. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They have a uh, they have some program I was watching, and I was like, what Tito? Okay, everybody doing that little thing afterwards. So all of the Jackson Fives went on to do you know uh, different things, mm-hmm. except for I don't know about um, Jackie. The, that's that was the tallest one right was he uh, in the, the jacksons because yes. you know at, at some point it yeah. was no longer the jackson five it was just the jacksons because right, so that's when randy and uh jermaine. jermaine and that was it randy randy joined jermaine actually stayed with motown because he was right, married to, to barry Gordy's daughter. daughter right right so yeah the jacksons and the reason why they didn't have the jackson five was was because um Motown owned it, or Barry Gordy owned that. He wouldn't let him have the, the name. Oh. Yep. So that was a little fight. He was a little shady. We need to talk <laughs> about that at some point. He he was a little shady. Yeah. You know, he had a thing with uh, Diana Ross, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All these things come out in the wash. Mm-hmm. Speaking of Diana Ross, you know, she had a little thing with Smokey, too. I did not know that. Yeah, his partner. His, I did not know that. His partner in crime. Mm. Yeah. But, yeah, RIP to... Um, Tito Jackson and Frankie Beverly. Yes. yes. So, yep. So, a lot of things went on. Uh, where's my my trusty information device? Yeah, a lot of things did go on this week. Um, they had the 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 debate, the vice president. I mean, uh, sorry, the presidential debate with uh, former president, two time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he has all these titles. Thirty some odd convicted felon responsible for sex offend uh sex offense and um oh fraudulent and fraud. Got the fraud, four hundred and eighty or four hundred something million dollar fraud. Okay. Yeah, he um had a debate 
with um, Vice President Kamala Harris. What's her title too? Her title. Her title is uh, former senator, <laughs> vice president, former prosecutor, mm-hmm. which was odd because the prosecutor was actually going to debating the convict. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are facts, right there. Yes, yeah, you can't. Yeah, facts. can't dispute those. Yeah, but yeah, um, and the the funny thing about it, I think um, it was not close, in my opinion. Right. The um. They had, this was one of the debates where they had a moderator that was actually fact checking them. Yes, <laughs> so, yes. Because so. kept um, going back and forth, like, "Hey, checking the facts. <laughs> <laughs> Where did they say that? They did not yeah. say that. <laughs> Nobody heard that. Nobody said that. <laughs> it has been checked that they did not say this. <laughs> so uh, stop making stuff up. <laughs> so, so literally, I think, I think um, he had a lot of his <laughs> statements was being. You know, contradicted by yes, the, the, the moderator. moderator. Mm-hmm. Yes, and so all the all the uh, the MAGA people's like, oh, they were being unfair. Well, he lies. <laughs> so we mean that unfair. He lied um, continuously. Yeah. yeah. And then the most famous lie of all: <laughs> <laughs> the, the the immigrants, the the Haitian immigrants, and uh, was it Springfield? Yes, uh, uh, Springfield, yeah. Ohio, Ohio were stealing pets, mm. cats and dogs, and eating them. Mm. 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 Right, mm. and and then when he was uh, fact checked on that because the guy happened to call the uh, the mayor. Yes, is that, is that happening? <laughs> it's like no, they don't have any record of that. Is you know whatever. So he was like, well, I saw it on TV. <laughs> it's not and funny. Then, and then it's the, not funny. The va- the Vance guy was like, um, they had to make up stories. To yes, he said that he they had to make on the news. Uh, West, I don't know, was it MSBC, whatever the, MSNBC, yes, mm-hmm. okay. or something? They were interviewing him, and then they, he was saying, uh, Well, they had to, they made up stories to, um, because they had been making awareness and all of that, nobody was listening, so they had to come up with stories. Oh, so he, he yeah, he, he admitted said, he purposely lied. Well, that's the Vans guy, not Trump. Oh, wow, wow, not Trump. Yes. He just looked like an angry uh, bird. <laughs> <laughs> angry bird. Uh, uh, angry, uneducated old man. Yes. And if it was a Democrat doing all of those things, right. they would be asking them right. to step down. Yep. Yeah, well, he he looked um he looked like he was rattled. Mm-hmm. He Which kept, he was. He kept going all. He never answered any new questions. A- ever. All over the place. And oh, this is one of the most funniest things because they they called him out on his health care plan because he's like, we're gonna have something that's mm-hmm. gonna be really really it's gonna big, be great, okay. the best ever. It's the it's best ever. It's said, gonna be great. He said, well, what is <laughs> what is actually your plan? How are you gonna mm-hmm. implement it? He says, well, I have a habit concept. <laughs> <laughs> It's the same thing with his energy plan. They were talking about his energy plan, and he's like, "What is it?" And he could not tell them because he doesn't have one. Yeah, and then the one of the things he was talking about Obama's health care thing. He's like, "Well, it was a terrible, terrible thing, and you know, we left it." Mind you, it, I think they tried to get rid of it sixty yeah, some odd times. They right? did. And um, then he came up with, "Well, if um, if we come up with something better, we'll implement it." Yeah. So you just admitted that you couldn't come up with anything better. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it, that was a. Uh, and but, he said he was never going to. He's not going to debate her again. That's not yeah. going to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I wouldn't debate somebody that made me look like a fool again. Like, oh no. Yeah, but the, the MAGA people's like, well, yeah, you know, I think I, you know, that's what he said. He said, I think I won all the polls show that I won, and he was saying, yeah, 70, 90 percent of the people uh, said that, that I'm the winner. Okay. I was like, because somebody, another person said that, because they did regurgitate what he says, right? Uh, right, pretty much. So I just went through and got all the ones from ABC, CNN, <laughs> also in the post. Like everybody said, even Republican pundits, conservative pundits, I would say, said that he lost and it was an embarrassment. And, you know, so, and he lost some endorsements from um, somebody that actually, after the the um, the debate, oh, wow. they saw on the debate, they pulled back their support. Okay, my question is, he's been saying the same things all along. Why do you think all of a sudden he looks like an idiot? Like, why (laughs) are you just, I shouldn't say that. That's not nice. I'm just saying he didn't um, look presidential to me. That's what I'll say. And he's never looked presidential. Uh, He's always, he he cannot stop name calling. Right. And it's like a a big little kid. Right. Just having the tantrum. uh Uh-huh, on the schoolyard. That's, that's to me is a... Anyway, I you know how I feel about him. He's 
like really unfit and not just because I say it just you know statistically all the things that he's been involved in the things that he says he's not presidential you know mm-hmm. and and she she capitalized on everything yeah you know? she did she went for that jugular she was not playing with him and then then she mentioned that his um his his felony yeah she did <laughs> yeah she did I wish she would have picked them because you know you can you know get him rattled up real fast i think she did rattle him i I think she did and that's why he won't debate her again (laughs) but he probably said that they're not going to debate again because you know everybody was unfair to him you know when aren't they weren't weren't yeah yeah yeah, everybody is always unfair to him so mommy they picking on me (laughs) well you know and, and the thing is if you if you're that your personality you're always calling everybody has a nickname Mm-hmm. Was it a Sleepy mm-hmm. Joe? Yep, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, what was it, Comrade Kamala? Mm-hmm. And, uh, it was always something. So, anyway, <laughs> yes, we'll move on. Yeah. Feds say leaders of white supremacist groups solicited assassinations and attacks. I mean, did we say that one? What was that from? This was seven days ago. CBS News. So, who tried to shoot him again? Yeah, I heard that. Mm-hmm. I, well, you know, I think they're still under investigation. I think the person they arrested is, somebody. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So they're still under investigation. Uh, well, you know, they get they still have to do an investigation. Um, but they said that he had a he had a AK forty seven style mm-hmm. assault rifle with a scope. Mm-hmm. What and is or the or the shooters that can never, Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they said they saw the barrel come out the uh, from the bushes, and I they I heard shots. Fi- that's what they said. They said I heard shots fired, and then. I guess they had actually fired too, but he came out alive. Obviously yeah. Kill him. Yeah. But it, yeah, it's just, you know, as much, let me say this, let me say this. I don't advocate for any violence at all. Um, regardless of political affiliation, whatever, you know, I, I do make fun of people on here because it's fun. Um, but I'm going to whoop your ass one day. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, even the MAGA people, you know, I make fun of, you know, is no disrespect intended, but sometimes you got to, you know, you got to step back from all that and, and, you know, get a grip of yourself. There's no reason. I don't care what he says or whatever. There's no reason to, to kill the man. Right. Right. You know, cause we're going to miss him. No, oh. I'm not going to say I'm going to miss him. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely not going to say that, but I'm going to say, I'm going to say, you know, we should, as a society, we should not resort to political violence right. or any type of violence when it comes to, you know, right. So let me just throw that out there and, I'll get back to talking bad about him after this. This was my thing. Like everybody said, you know, there's no place for violence. That's right. not who we are. And I'm like, did y'all just forget that these <laughs> kids got shot in school not too long ago? Like that's this is who we yeah. are. This is absolutely who we are. Yeah. And if you won't regulate gun control, these are the things that happen. There's well, no reason why he should have an AK. But you know what he said the the to combat uh the gun violence is to get more guns. No. Is to arm more people. No. That's their answer to it, you know. And that's what the, the little video that I put out where they asked the guy who was at a Trump rally too. He got their their people saying, oh, you, you know, the, the answer is more guns. He was like, the, the one guy said, you can't fight you can't fight a, a fire with water. You got to fight fire with fire. Okay. And, and the, the guy said, well, you know, that's how they do it. <laughs> <laughs> you see? Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's why you guys gotta get out there and vote, regardless yes, of what anybody please. says. Please Register get out there and vote. And vote. Yeah, but it was a, a few uh, quick stories in here that I, you know, found interesting. That was um, what is this one here? This is uh, U.S. <laughs> U.S. Appeals Court confirms district court decision on transgender. Sports oh fans. yeah, I saw that. So if I could recall, they. The um they confirmed it where they were allowed to to play. participate. Mm-hmm. And we had a I think we had a, a episode uh, yep. about that, and I'm 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 saying this just because it came up. They separated men and women's sports mm-hmm. because of biological reasons. Correct. So if you're still a biological male, you should be in a biological male sport. Correct. Unless it's a unless you want to combine all and put everybody together, mm-hmm. saying that it doesn't matter because of their biology. Then, you know, outside of that, transgender women, you can identify however you want, but the sports are separated by biology, not by who you identify as, you know, so. I have no comment. (laughs) (laughs) 
because we'll go back and forth <laughs> about this all night. Well, like I said, the, the easy thing is for them just to not make sports uh, separated by the genders. So if you, you know, women, they want to, you know, play football, they can try out basketball, they can try out, you know, and see what happens. I'm sure that would make two women in the NBA. That was a dig towards women, by the way. Absolutely, it was. And I'm just going to let it go. And we're going to go to the next story. No, That's what we're gonna all right, do. so let me ask you to uh, stop on that. Do you think any uh, woman can actually participate in the NBA? With all, but you know these are these are not like all right. If I if I got five of my guys to go up against the you know the the college players or even the USA women's basketball team, I ain't gonna say we're gonna win. <laughs> you know I'm, I'm gonna admit that that we're probably not gonna win and we'll probably lose big. However, you're talking about the NBA are really the all the people in the NBA were superstars right. in college, right? You know, and in the NBA you got super duper stars. True. So I don't see them you know at any position throwing somebody in there um that's a woman to compete with the men that's you know i not in basketball maybe in some okay. other sports tennis you know okay. maybe um table tennis volleyball uh, yeah we need to get <laughs> off this subject and just move right along because yeah all right let's see fox's tarloff reminds co-hosts trump released five thousand taliban prisoners including terrorists he never wants to talk about that so you know he always he always they go, oh, we made the best deal and they released such and such. But yeah, this is 5,000 Taliban prisoners that was released during his administration. And they don't mention anything. But that's not really much to talk about. It's some of the hypocrisy along mm. with, with Trump. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah. Yeah. So um, you have any weird news? No. <laughs> Am I, am I the weird woman? No. Yes. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. So, um, as you all know, the NFL season kicked off, right? Okay. Um, you know, I do not follow football, so. For you guys out there, week two is already completed. We're going into week three. In and the, your, and in your the, TV is still in the box. In the, <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was the whole purpose of that. Oh, I love. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, <you won't. laughs> but y'all who don't know, <laughs> Psycho has like a what is it, eighty-five inch TV, TV 85 for inch football TV. watching that's in the box mm-hmm. that still still not unboxed yet. I don't have it. <laughs> I didn't well, buy it. <laughs> it's in your uh, place of residence. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have some good games on there, but. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I only mentioned the football season because the Ravens are 0-2. Oh, okay. Let's throw, throw, throw that out there. Ravens are winless Nobody season. cares. Well, um, I'm sorry. I shouldn't say that. You I'll know, say I don't live. care. They're going to come get you. And I know all the people are coming to get me, too, because I said I didn't <laughs> care. Um, yeah, go Ravens. What yeah. am I going to say yeah. about that? All right. So um, celebrity news, anything long celebrity news? Although, um, you know, the passing of Frankie and Frank, Tito. That's right. We did, yeah, we mentioned we did that. that. And then, um, um, what was it? It was a uh, one. This rapper from Georgia just got uh, arrested in this two hundred million dollar drug bust. Holy! I had never God. heard of the guy, to be honest. But obviously, he's somebody because he's been on tour with different people. Rich homie Quan, who just passed away, and some other, you know, one of the, the southern rappers. Two hundred million dollars. I'm past the who the rapper is. I'm just stuck on two hundred million dollars. Yeah. So they had drugs and money. Well, that's two hundred dollars worth of. So they had um, fentanyl. Jesus. They had, and there's over a, a, a key of everything. I mean, someone was like fifty-seven keys of this and Ugh. a thousand pounds of this. It was crazy. They had uh, marijuana, a little bit of heroin. They had uh, cocaine, um, and I believe it was guns. Mm. Um, sure you have it. to have guns if you got all of that well, going yeah, on. Yeah, but it was yeah two hundred. It was two hundred million dollars worth. Um, of of drugs good gracious just mm. Mm, mm, mm. that's a, a, talking about a party <laughs> you know what <laughs> now i forgot the guy's I'm name i'm thinking of all the overdoses and harm um, that that could create yeah the, the, yeah uh, well whatever they get uh, they deserve so that, that's that's crazy so I wanted to say that. Okay, you want to say. Mm-mm, mm-mm. So I wanted to say this. Biology says. Who? S- 
79.5% of your child's brain comes from the mother. How much? Really? 79.5%. So, look at your wife. <laughs> now, are your kids safe? <laughs> what you th- That's a good one. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, so I don't I don't agree with that. Oh, um, no. I don't Yeah, agree. I've heard that the kids' intelligence comes from their mom. What is that? I don't know. I feel like No. All right, so let me tell you people. We got we got food today. And and somebody's just hard hit I, I I gave her a bean pie, a little smidgen of a bean pie just so she can taste it and you know, so she can try you know, something try new. Try something new. So I have news. It's still sitting on your plate. It says, um, what's the weirdest thing society accepts as normal? So hmm. what's the weirdest thing? Do you have anything? I have no idea. The weirdest thing that people Except as normal. The, honestly, uh, religion. You know what? It is the walking on water. Someone says blood. paparazzi. You're telling me we all deemed it acceptable to make a living off of photographing other people with their, without their consent and following them around as they live their lives. Now, I don't think that's weird. I think that's they've done that in in uh, probably since forever. Not maybe not with cameras, right? But, but it's not normal. That's what you're saying. Like yes. we like, we normalized weird. it. Like yes. No, yeah. I'm saying I think it's normal because we've always done it. Okay, so someone says the question: What's the weirdest thing society accepts as normal? Wearing bikinis on the beach, but it's not okay to wear panties on the streets. Uh, okay, <laughs> and this is pretty much the same thing. Exactly. It really is. Well, or you can't be like just have your bra on and go into the store. Well, but but if you have a bathing suit top on, it's okay. But I, I you know, you just say there's a there's an appropriate time and place for different different things. So I don't even think that's weird. Okay, another one. What's the weirdest thing society accepts as normal? Clothes. <laughs> no other animal wears them. <laughs> Listen, when we were in Miami, there were some people that um they were topless. The women were topless. Some people a- and a lot of people. A lot of people. Not her though. Not <laughs> definitely not me. Not at all. And you don't want to see that. You just it's just something you just don't. Lamb I didn't even want to see the old men in the speedos. Have you ever heard so of it was covered up. You know what like, I'm saying? Just imagine him having. <laughs> Can you? Did you, you ever heard of when in Rome? I absolutely have. Why, why don't you do as the Romans did? Because we weren't Roman <laughs> on that beach. <laughs> no, but you know it was perfectly acceptable that they were just walking around topless, and I'm just like, oh my god, please put a top on. <laughs> like some things we shouldn't see. Another one would be, uh, what's the weirdest thing society accepts as normal? T- taking your shoes off at the airport. Because of that one guy. Right. I think oh. that's insane. I, I really do think that's insane. Yeah. Yeah. Have they found any devices since, he, since him? Probably not. So why we keep doing this? <laughs> because the one time that you don't. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm going to say this. With airlines, I don't care about all that. Because you know what? It's not. If, if you're in the air, I don't care if they have people put on handcuffs, strap them down. I don't care. Cause that's one of the times where you just can't mess up, right? You know, right. I, I don't. I don't even care. Do what you got to do. Right. I'm in agreement with that. Yeah, you I can't be messing around with this plane. Exactly. Y'all better take them down. <laughs> You're gonna like this one because it says working forty hours plus, uh, forty plus hours a week a task we are not personally invested in, not the idea of working. Period. Because I think humans are industrious by nature, but the idea that we give so much of our time and energy to work, that means nothing to us and aren't paid adequately in return. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that should not be normalized. Well, other countries don't work like we work. Right. Uh, they, well, they don't. And there's some countries that work way worse than we do. Yeah. So I yeah. think we're in that happy you know, middle. Because, you know, they have uh, in some European countries, they have um, more sick. They got just better benefits. Right. More sick, sick leave. And they, and they want you to have a, a shorter working hours. Right. Five, and then you got some other places that you work six days a week, sometimes right. seven days a week right. for 12 hours with no overtime. Oh, wow. Yeah. Found that out. So another one says feel good stories about a seven year old child 
running a lemonade stand in an attempt to pay off their school students' lunch debt. Aww. Uh, you know, people sell... That is so sweet. That. <laughs> That's going to be a good human being if people stay out of their way. <laughs> yeah, that's the key. <laughs> Another Aww. one says, what's the weirdest thing society accepts as normal? The most likely cause of death for a pregnant person is, is not pregnant... Husband? It's not pregnancy related complications. It's homicide. Yep. It's their husband normally. What? Because of the death. pregnancy pregnant women are more likely to get killed by their husbands than anything. Really? Yes. Hmm. They are like the highest the highest homicide homicidal rate is pregnant women and their husbands. Hmm. I think this is my favorite. Needing to buy a twenty k to hundred k vehicle, vehicle just so that you can leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not big <laughs> on that. Like, I want, I want it to be decent. Like, I want my car to be decent. I don't have to have the be- biggest and the best, and you know, I don't want need to spend all that money. I just want it to be. You decent. can just walk. Yeah, nobody's doing that. What? A ride a bicycle? Oh, no, I'm not doing that. Especially when a I'm scooter. paying a car note and car insurance. <laughs> I'm not doing that either. I can't afford broken bones. <laughs> <laughs> He's there to catch you. I will catch you. I will catch Broke you from back front. over here. From I, front. I, I, I will catch from you. Front. Broke from the back front. Oh, over from here. the front or the back? The <laughs> booth. You're, you're so gross. <laughs> not just that. I can see you now. Both of us on the ground. My back. My back. <laughs> Yeah, thanks for the catch. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. So let's take a break for our uh we're from our sponsor. Oh my god. In a world filled with fear and uncertainty, one thing is clear. You never know what might happen next. What if you were abducted by aliens? Introducing Galactic Guard, your ultimate alien abduction insurance. With Galactic Guard you're covered for all alien encounters. Abduction, no problem. We've got you. Unwanted experiments, no problem. We got you there too. Even if they return you with a new hairstyle, we will help you get back on your feet. With comprehensive plans that include reimbursement for lost wages during your intergalactic vacation, coverage for alien related medical exams, and even a personalized welcome back kit. Don't let the unknown keep you up at night. Protect yourself and your loved ones with Galactic Guard. Call today and get a free quote because when it comes to the unknown, it's better to be prepared. All right. Call today, but there's no number. I'm going <laughs> to fight you so it's, hard. <laughs> if, call today. is 443-860-2716. Okay, that's, that's Galactic Guard. Is that supposed Guard. to be our... Yes. Our podcast. Yes. I'm, I'm just saying, yes. I am not <laughs> co signing any of this shenanigans, <laughs> nonsense, and foolishness. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> Daddy need new shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I am not co signing any of this. <laughs> so, are we ready for our controversial Topic of the day? Yes. yes. So, today, the question was um, and that we asked this on social media too. Mm-hmm. Are you for? Or against the death penalty so we're going to talk about the death penalty and um give you some some uh interesting facts about it right and see how uh, some of the people feel and i i you, i was listening to some of the um the comments on it okay. not listening i was looking i was reading it mm-hmm. and I, I was like everybody everybody pretty much made some type of sense that you know i could i said well i could pro see that. and yeah, con pro okay. and con mm-hmm. and and it's really about nobody's wrong Mm. That's 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 what I got. I mean, nobody's really wrong about it. I think, but I think everybody uh, pretty much can say in certain circumstances, you know, they give it a little bit more thought. Right. But, uh, yeah, I give it a lot of thought. And like I said last time when we started this, um, I give it a lot of thought because so many people have been put to death yeah. and weren't guilty. So it's hard to condemn someone and put them to death when you when you. They tell you you have all the facts, but you don't really know if you have all the facts. Right. So that's that's pretty hard. So well, you have some statistics about it. Yeah. They they also got yeah, figured this too that um it's been found that uh, the prosecution had withheld. Some right. Evidence, that's so, what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. So so some of the things we pulled up now just to identify what the death penalty. If you guys don't know what the death penalty is, is basically a sentence that you get. They call it a capital punishment 
for certain crimes. Um, and usually it's just, it's a, usually it's like a murder or something along those lines, you know, but I, I'm not sure they've had, uh, death penalty sentences for things other than murder. Now you can get it for like, you know, rape, okay. things like that. But, um, the U S is one of the few countries where the death penalty is legal. Mm. Mm. But, um, here it really is the, depending on the different States. Right. So, right. Let's see. <clears throat> Six states outlawed capital punishment between 2010 and 2021. Other states stopped performing executions due to a governor's order or a Supreme Court ruling. Now, the number of executions are also falling nationwide after reaching a peak of 98 in 1999. And they're declined um, in 16 of the following 22 years. So I think public opinion is changing. Right. And right. We'll pull up some things about that. So Maryland, the state, I think, I think we have a moratorium. I don't think that we're doing I, a death penalty yeah, anymore. Governor O'Malley actually did the was moratorium, but I think it was lifted. Really? I, th- I think it was because we can't have a moratorium for forever. Yeah. So, but, um, so Supreme court, I actually, you know, um, determined what, um, was legal, what was not, whether they considered the death penalty, a cruel and unusual punishment. And I guess that really meant the, the type of how, how you get it done. Okay. The way you're the executed. Way, yeah, yeah. The way okay. you execute it. Um, but I know each state has that, um, that ability to determine. So back, let's see, 1972, um, the Georgia Supreme court ruled effectively banned the death penalty by saying the methods used were a violation of the eighth amendment's ban on cruel and unusual punishment. Mm. So that was obviously, you know, when you get to that, it has a uh, vibration throughout the other States. Right. Right. Um, but I'm trying to think, what did they use back then? I'm going to guess it was probably the firing squad. It's 70, <laughs> 70, what? Two? 72. 72. 72. Um, you think? Yeah, they they didn't say. You see, the court's decision led to procedural reforms for states in the new Supreme Court rulings. In '76, the court ruled that Georgia, Texas, and Florida, no surprise there, right, had made suitable revisions to the death penalty, so it's no longer a cruel and unusual punishment. State level executions resumed in '77, while the federal government did not reestablish the death penalty until 1988. Well, the death penalty in Maryland was abolished in 2013. Oh, really? Yes. Recent homicide arrest data claims confirms that black offenders are the largest group of arrestees and 80% of homicide victims are black individuals. Hmm. Okay. Well, I saw a little bar graph that kind of, that was, a uh, we, uh, stood out. Let me go to this bar graph. And this was, <laughs> this was, um, the number of people. Prisoners on death row are disproportionately likely to be black. So they had the uh, percentage of the population. Mm-hmm. So for white, or white, uh, I guess, prisoners, they were 76. I wonder if that's, no, she share, share of overall population. They were 76.3% and the share of death row population was 56.5. Black people were 13.4. That must be the overall population. Right. Of, uh, 13.4%, but 41.1% of the death penalty or death row population. Well, you got to remember too, that African Americans do get arrested disproportionately, you know, so that's part of it. So out of the, out of the four groups, they had a uh, white, black, American, Indian, Alaska native altogether. Um, then they had the Asian native Hawaiian and Pacific Islanders. Uh, black population was the only population that actually had a higher percentage of death row uh, inmates than the percentage of the population. Mm. And it's by far 41 to 13 percent. Yeah, that's so, crazy. Yeah. Again, another reason for me to not, to not. <laughs> <laughs> agree all the time with the death penalty. Like I said, I can't, I, you know. I can't 100% say I don't agree with it Mm -hmm. because like we said, there are those cases like the Jeffrey Dahmer's of the world that you just like, why are we keeping him alive? He, he admits to killing all of these people. It's just time to let him go. 
Um, you, and he's the kind of person who could never be let back into society. So why? Yeah. Okay. So do you know who Jeffrey Dahmer is? Lonis? Can we move on? <laughs> <laughs> I was asked, do you know? I mean, because that was probably before your time. Whatever. I don't, I don't know if you was born by then. Whatever. But what? Yeah. What? Jeffrey Dahmer is what? The 80s? 90s? Oh, God. I don't remember. I'm I mean, just, I think I'm thinking the night. I'm thinking the nineties. I just want to so lay down. Born in the 90s. You was I, born in nineteen ninety. I just want to lay down. But anyway, all right. So, nineteen. He died in nineteen ninety four. Ninety four. Oh, right. he died in ninety four. Yeah, he was beaten but by he another was prisoner. To death. Yeah. Uh-huh. So okay. Um. So that means he must have been committing them in the freaking late eighties. Yeah. Right. Ah. Uh. So, Felonius, what are your personal beliefs regarding the death penalty? Like she said, um, I feel like in some cases, I think, like, according to death, there's manslaughter, there's, um, what are those things? Different degrees. degrees. Different degrees, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, so, so, manslaughter is what you're, you're responsible for, but you didn't have any criminal intent. Okay, yeah, that, then that, I don't think that. Okay. That deserves a so premeditated murder. Correct. You 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 would you thought it out. You planned it. Correct. Okay. Would, yes. Okay. I would think yes. Okay. That deserves. Nobody deserves. What? How are the people killing the person too? It's kind of also like yeah, sentencing someone to death as right. well. It's like the same thing killing somebody. You know. But well, the 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 jury um, sentences the well most places in most some, places. Well, some people just do a judge trial, right? Yes. So would the judge? Oh, be you gotta be a colossal idiot to do a judge trial with a capital I'm, I'm trial. not saying that they <laughs> right, but some oh, yeah, people it, do okay, it. Yeah, so yeah. the judge would be judge the one would, to right. hand down that sentence. Okay. <laughs> that would be something. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Know. And I wonder how, like, if it's like death by hanging or by the chair yeah, and i don't even know why we have different types of those so throughout the years they had different things mm-hmm. um firing squad was is old hanging is probably the oldest, oldest. right yeah, so you had the, the hanging oldest. then you had the obviously the invention of the gun so you had the firing squad then you know the more electric technology, chair, le- electric yeah. chair mm-hmm. and then they went to uh, lethal, injection. lethal injection um i don't think we ever had the beheading here oh geez so what's the point of then having like a, a religious person like a pastor or an imam come in to say hey they give them last rights yeah give them your last rights basically to save your soul mm-hmm. before you know i guess to, and then I give guess you the, to the re- the, your, your, your wishes whatever you want to eat yes. your favorite yeah. food your yeah. everything like okay i, I, I guess that's the way you eat i don't know how you know that you're gonna die the next <laughs> <No>. day <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> give me everything. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna order enough food to last me uh, another what? year, <laughs> and I'm gonna eat slow. Matter of fact, give me a big bowl of rice. You know what? <laughs> what you gonna do? Eat it a grain at a time. That's right. That's what I would do. One grain at a time. They don't care. Your scheduled date. <laughs> exactly. Your scheduled time. time. Yeah. So you get to eat until your time is up. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but um, and sometimes also sometimes. Um, they've been wrong. Like the judgments mm-hmm. have been yes. wrong, mm-hmm. and so have they ever been wrong in a capital murder case, a premeditated murder? Well, no, sure, <laughs> I don't think so. I'm sure they will probably be wrong. They, they've had cases where somebody's been found guilty of first degree murder, and then um, later on, what is it? What out? is first degree? first degree murder? That's uh, premeditated. You okay. actually thought it out, and you know, Decide what is do. second degree? Second degree is something that you, that just ha- without ma- they call it, without malice of forethought, meaning okay, like yeah. So just, you could be in a fight with someone and then a person dies. Yes. Okay. So then what's manslaughter? Manslaughter means you was you was um, responsible for it. Could be for uh, recklessly, right? Like, like driving, driving, mm-hmm. driving, or you didn't you didn't intend to kill the person. It just kind of happened. So what's the difference between that and second degree? Well, you intent you intended to commit harm on somebody. You get me like, um, all right, let me give you an example. So like if I fight in uh, anybody, you want to, yeah, you, you, you you you. yeah. well, but you're not trying to kill somebody when you're fighting. No, right? but you might but, be but planning you, to harm them. In yeah. Some but but you're like, if you're fighting and you punch somebody in the face and they go fall back and not, you know, hit mm-hmm. the head on the 
you know, is uh, that manslaughter? Your actions, your actions cause it. It could be manslaughter, depending on what the how they. And then sometimes they it. just have all this list of guilty of sec- second degree murder, guilty of third degree, right. fourth degree, right. every, every tenth degree, every state is different. Twentieth degree. Their um their laws are different. They're, they're how they code it. So they may have some something crazy, like um like murder, manslaughter. Um, they got one called felony murder. Oh wow! I've Which never is heard of that before. felony murder is when let's say if let's say you and Lamb Chop is out there. Don't don't call me. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. You go you go rob a bank. No, not me. Lamb Chop shoots the guard. The guard mm. dies. She committed murder. Obviously, right. you're going to get felony murder because go away from you me. guys were together. You're right. committing a so felony together. and somebody died. Yeah, so, so I that wanna, happens. I want to I want to play something. Because they sentence you to 2,500 consecutive life sentences plus a thousand years. Once you pass away, you will receive an attempted escape charge with an additional 200 years being added to your sentence. <laughs> and you will begin serving in the afterlife once you get to hell. <laughs> Should you be reincarnated after your death and return to Earth as another person, you will be arrested at birth and you will spend your entire next life in the state penitentiary. <laughs> is that real? That can't be real. <laughs> that can't be it was like real. real. Cause they had a video and everything, so oh, I don't know. God, that can't real. be real. <laughs> that cannot. That cannot. Oh my goodness. But mm. I often wonder, like, when they give somebody, like, you're sentenced to 25 years for murder, and then another, like. 30 years for something else. Yeah. And, how did and they I'm just like, why are they giving it? 25 different, years different is enough. Yeah. Like, why are so, they adding 30 so years? So there's two things. So if you get, if you get a uh, sentence for 25 years. Don't say if I get, <laughs> just say if you get, you get. I didn't say you. I said uh, if, just in uh, general. Excuse if me. the person. If, if one gets sentenced <laughs> to 25 years in prison and they get another 25 or 30 years in prison, they could either run consecutively or concurrently. concurrently now i get that confused right. so concurrently is when it's all at together the same time, together right? okay okay and consecutive like, is separate one after the other so t- the intent is you'll serve 55 years in jail yes and now, you know you know that insane. also the jail calendar is different i think it's earlier than the normal calendar no so what happens is like say if you get 25 years right and let's say let's say you're doing it concurrently you might <laughs> you might be able to get out earlier earlier this one. right but, then you but still you still have to, have to serve the other. Right. Or you might get out on both. So just because you get 25 years doesn't mean you're going to serve 25 years. Right. You might serve 12. That's what right. I'm saying. Right. right. Yeah. Also, also, if you get... Um, How does that even work, though? So 25 years is not their 25 years. Right. So they, there's ways that maybe, they... they maybe can, they count two they, days as one or three days as one. In no, no, no. Because it's hardship. Well, they, they, you, get, you, get, you get time for good behavior, right. stuff like that. And you also... Um, you, they'll tell you... They might even sentence you up 25 years... Um, in prison, and you're not eligible for parole until your Certain ninth year, year. Yeah. your tenth year, something right. along those lines. So right. you do come up before a parole board, you know. Um, also, that even when you get a um, a, a life sentence, mm-hmm. a life sentence might be 25 years. Right. So oh. <laughs> <laughs> she had a flashback. Uh, you know what? <laughs> but yeah, so you 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 get. If you say I got a life sentence, that might be twenty five years. Right. So every every place is different. Yeah. So, yeah. but as far as the people, the like the guys who uh did those kidnappings, I think they were uh, Latino guys, some years back, and they got like seven hundred some odd years. Yeah. Like <laughs> so, why? Why? Just why? Because if he gave them a life sentence, the life sentence might be twenty five years, right? Okay. But if he if he gives them and 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 here's another thing too. When you get those sentences, you you're getting them for different charges, right? So if they come back and say like you know, they are in trial or, or some technicality, they get off on this one. But you still have those you still other, have the other ones. ones. Yeah, it's okay. kind of like a safeguard almost, you know. To make sure you stay in jail. Yes. Like, now, take R. Kelly, for example. Oh, geez. Do we have to? You know, he got enough time that this, this says if he gets out, he's going to be very old. Very, very old, right? He should be. Um, but. Mm. But we'll see. Right. <laughs> so, about, that's a, that's a whole Cosby? um he was old in prison yeah he was 80 <sighs> something hmm. i don't even remember if he's out is he out yeah he's yeah. he got, oh, out. He's out. He okay. got out all right now do you believe the death penalty is a moral form of punishment i don't want to put morality yeah, in that into, yeah, i really just... don't um eye for an eye tooth I, for tooth yeah head I, for head. I, right i hear that 
I, and I hear people say that, you know, if you still chop their hand off, but or how about this? What is the what is the ultimate thing you could rob somebody of? Their life. Their life. You can't get that back. So right. if you take somebody's life, then and you go on to do whatever years and you live your life. It's kind of like where's the where's the. So you saying giving a life for a life? Yeah, I'm just saying that's just one of the thoughts. I'm not saying that I personally right. believe in it, but right. I'm saying that's one of the thoughts in that. Right. You know. What they um, say, an eye for an eye makes all of us blind. Yep. <laughs> hey, sometimes you need blind people walking around here. Well, I, an eye we have an enough eye. blind people walking around. <laughs> an eye for an yeah. eye, you still have one eye left. <laughs> so. What was, okay, so you know you making me. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> you, you said an eye for an eye makes everybody blind, but then there's still one eye left. <laughs> I hit you. <laughs> are you you are a mess. You are a mess. So I was saying that you had me rewatching Game of Thrones. Yes. And I'm in the second season. But uh I know this is a little bit off topic, but Arya saved some prisoners or something. They were yes. okay. Yes. And the guy when she saw him again said, You saved three lives. I owe you three lives. Yes. Yes. So you know, in that sense, I don't know. I don't know. Like, you took a life, you owe me a life. Basically, that's what I felt like he was saying. Yeah, so basically, they're they're saying, like, um, you're marked for death. That's your destiny. That is, you owe the, you owe the, the many-faced God these lives. Right. These lives are marked for death. So because you saved these lives, somebody has, has to, to die. Has to die, right? So he's given her the option of since she's who's going gonna, to do it, right? Yes, right. And, and and you know what? Again, um, if you know, she said eye for an eye makes everybody blind, but you know, how can if you rob somebody of the ultimate gift and you're still running? How, where's the equity in that? Yeah. There, there you is know. no equity in that. So yeah, yeah you, you do, no you do twenty. They give you twenty five years for, for murder. You get out in twelve, and yeah. you lived your life while you know your parents, or the parents or the loved ones or whoever, are with, still mourning. Yes. they're they're gonna be mourning Forever. for the rest of their life. Yeah, yeah the rest of their so, lives. So and, and I and I see that part too. Right. You know, but, but you know, ugh, it's it's just so hard. It's so hard because all right, you have this set of people over here mourning for the person they lost. You kill, you know, you execute this person because they did the crime. So now you have this whole set of people over here mourning their loss. Mm. So I don't know. I don't know. It is so hard. It really is. At least for me, it's difficult. I, I, I'm not going to say it's easy. I think it's easy in some cases. Right. Right. Some people, you know, you're you're a threat to humanity. Right. And I guess Agreed. you can still say, well, we'll lock them up forever. Right. You know, and then maybe that's more of a um, a punishment. And the, so, the and easy so, way yeah. out. Yeah. Some, some victims, parents, or a family says, no, I don't want them executed. I don't right. want the death penalty on the table. I want them to think about what they did for the rest of their lives. Right. So. Not everybody has that kind of moral. moral. True. Even thinking about what they did for the rest of their life, you'd be sh- shocked that the person would commit another murder. So, right, mm-hmm. I agree. Some people would just be like, "Whatever," you know. I mean, hell no, I'm I'm, I'm vengeful. So, I'm sure <laughs> you say you're vengeful. <laughs> <laughs> now, so the, now, do you think that the death penalty is a deterrent for crime? Absolutely not. Okay, absolutely. Because if it was, we still <laughs> wouldn't have all exactly. of this crime. Exactly. Well, they a lot of places are are getting rid of the death penalty because it's not a deterrent for crime. All right. So, all right. Felonious. If you knew that you can be killed. Don't know. I'm not doing anything. Because (laughs) no, you're not. You're that would be a deterrent for you. No, it wouldn't. I if I knew, I, yeah, I'm scared of death. So. <laughs> yeah, like I don't want to go. I listen. It's things that's right now deterring me, and it don't have anything. To do with <laughs> exactly. The death penalty, nobody think. Like, yeah, nobody thinks about that. Yeah. It's just your normal morals. Like I, you, I don't want to go to jail. Wanna, exactly. I don't want. I think. I don't want to put myself there. I don't want to risk it. Right. Like right. if I say they're not gonna kill me, and they kill me, <laughs> or maybe. I, I think you know for some saying? people, they'll second guess doing certain things well people are different because yeah. you can go to prison and have a, a total yeah healthy life yeah <laughs> you know i'm sure nobody even thinks that far 
Oh, like, I'm, I'm sure they do. They do? Uh, yeah, I'm sure like they do. Like, before they commit the crime? Yeah, that's yeah. what you're saying? Yeah. I don't know. You Depends are, on the crime, though. If so, it's like cyber fraud or what, all this kind of fraud or stuff well, like that. Well, you're not that. getting a death penalty for that. Right. Yeah, yeah I'm just saying. But I'm saying, like, like, if somebody, all right, let's, for example, uh, a police officer pulls over a drug dealer, right? Mm-hmm. Or somebody who just robbed somebody. <laughs> and. He hot tonight. <laughs> <laughs> somebody pulls over, um, uh, somebody who just robbed they, you know, on a traffic stop. So they're not going to jail for any reason. So what happens? He says, okay, well, I'm not going to shoot this cop because I don't want to get the death penalty, but I need to get away. I'm just going to do X, Y, and Z. I think those situations oh, so come into the certain, you display. think at certain times people do think about oh, yeah. what they're going to do before they do it. Yeah. Or rather not, they're going to get the death penalty before they do it. I, I think so. I'm sure nobody oh, no. thinks about death penalty as anything like oh, that's probably the least. And then you think, oh, I'm gonna get a lawyer, I'm gonna appeal. Mm-hmm. Oh, now, I'm gonna tell you why. I think sometimes uh, when you go to court, some of the the, the defendants will p- take a plea so they, they do. don't face the, the death, death penalty. penalty. Right. So right. I mean, not that it deterred them. In in, yeah, the in the first place, place. Yeah, I yeah. guess that's right. So in okay, well, yeah. we, we'll say no. You say no. I, I don't think it deters crime at all. <laughs> I really don't. I, I really don't. Let's see. But is he, I don't. How would they even? I don't even think they can quantify that. Or right. How, how do you figure out? But but not it deter deterred crime. Hmm. I so, know one thing. Texas is is cooking them and booking them. They don't care. <laughs> they are just like we are rolling and don't come down here committing no crime because we gonna fry you. Exactly. They are not playing. All right, you, can you know who was the first southern state? You always you know that the southern states are a little bit more uh, strict on that one. But the first southern state to ban death. the death penalty in Florida. I didn't even know that was Florida. Florida. No, Flo- not no, Florida. I want to say Florida. Mm-mm. North Carolina? Nope. I don't even know where Southern State is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mar- but where the North, below. right? Maryland and below. Maryland and I below. The, uh, the North. No, this is actually this is technically the South. South, yeah. yeah. It is the South. It yeah. is, technically. Well, People don't south. want to believe that it is. Right. <laughs> but it says it's in the it's North. It's the South. Though. No, no it's South. we had slaves. It's the South. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be like, what, New York, mm-hmm. New Jersey, Virginia, Pennsylvania? No, no, That's no, the no. North. Oh, the North, why not the North? They're close to because us. you don't know where the states are. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so, your fault. So don't we, stop it. Stop picking all right, on her. All right, so she's not from this country, so. What, you know. They can they can obviously tell. You don't have to tell <laughs> <laughs> It's actually Virginia. Uh, really? In 2021. Oh, wow. 2021? 2021. So they were still doing it up until then? Yes. Oh, wow. Yep. How about Maryland? Mar- well, Maryland she- stopped in uh, 13. 13, 20, 2013. 2013. Yeah, and that, and that, that was after they had the moratorium. So, mm-hmm. okay, so technically it's actually earlier than that. Right, right. Okay, but legally, okay. Right. And it's even funny how people even, so talking about people knowing the consequences or whatever, whatever, it's funny, even the normal jail time, it's funny how many people have gone to back to jail. Like, yeah. Yeah, this is my seven. No, not mine. They are seven. Right, time, I'll, I'll just sit time. on that time. That people you know? say, people will say it. Um, I had a job working with Psycho, and basically, I would um do substance use evaluations on people. Mm. And this one gentleman did not want to do it, and he said he wasn't going to do it. And he said, "I will go back to jail and sit on this time." And I, I was just like, "Okay, I can't make you stay, but you know, a half an hour of your day." You gonna you gonna go sit on five years a time because you don't want to spend a half an hour with me. Some of them, some of them, I think but, I think some of them know that or feel that is the setup. Instead of going through all the frustration of all that, let me just go in and do my time. Yeah. Not have to worry about you calling me. And, and that's me, what he said. Know, yeah, that's what he said. He's like, I'm just yeah. gonna go sit on this time. And I was like, all right, knock yourself out. So we, how many states? How many states actually have the death penalty currently? Yes, thirty states. It was a good right. amount. So it from, was it, that was the step from twenty. Well, thirty out of the fifty. Yeah. Wait, no. Thirty states. Twenty six had prisoners on death row. Okay, so thirty states, but there's also federal uh, de- uh, death penalty okay. as well. So, um, last person I remember. Okay. Now I say remember. Last person I can recall that that got executed was uh, Timothy McVeigh. 
Oh, Oklahoma yeah. Bomber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think I would have had any problems saying death penalty for him. Yeah. Did yeah. You, I don't know if you remember Timothy no, Mabey. I don't know. So he um he took the um was it a truck? Mm-hmm. Had filled it had with a a fer- fertilizer and stuff like that, and actually a bomb, pretty much made a big, huge bomb out of it and mm-hmm. blew this, with fertilizers. This, uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. the terrorists use that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and blew up a, a building. They didn't. It didn't take the whole building down, but it, no, it but killed it a lot of people. Tore the front, the yeah. whole front face off of that building. Yeah. And no, I think it was a daycare. That was yeah, it was a daycare too. in there. Yeah. The kids died. It was. It was horrible. Yeah. It was and too, what was the reason? Like I never could he was, recall. He I was a former remember. military guy. Uh, I think it was a. He was an army guy, but I think it was um, anti-government sentiment oh, of some sorts. You know, a lot of them. You you get that um, who think they have too much government overreach. Okay, you can hate the government, but you don't have to kill me. I ain't do nothing to you. Or, or they might even have use it as revenge for something that happened in another. Like, yeah, say Waco. I've heard Waco. Waco yeah, yep. like a that. lot of people had some issues with Waco and wanted to do revenge for that. Yeah. You know which state have conducted the most executions? I'm gonna say Texas. Texas. Let me see. What does it say? Tex- Texas or Florida? He says one of those states. It says Texas and the federal government accounted for six of 2021's 11 executions. Texas accounted for 38% yeah, that, yeah. of all executions from from 1977 to 2021. Don't do shit in Texas. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> wow. They not playing. Now, California had the most people on death row in 2020. but I was surprised at that. Well, because they got a lot of people. Yeah. You know? Okay. Yeah. I guess yeah. statistically, if you do the amount of people based on. I, I really was kind of surprised at that. But um, the governor of California, Gavin Newsom, who I actually liked for president, right, uh, put a moratorium on capital punishment in uh, 2019. So. Okay. But that's interesting. Um, Didn't you say you had some reactions to the question? Re- oh, for the social media? That you would media? like to read? Oh, yes. Yeah, All right, this is from the um, social media. Um, what was it? Let me, let me find it real quick. But they had the social media... From the question of the day. Question of the day, are you for or against? I did a poll. And let me see. I post so much. Wow, I didn't realize that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Especially football season. Oh, my goodness. Were you just, you know, bragging to everybody? No, I, I won't do that because I don't want to come back on my team. All right, so here's some of the comments. We had uh, 32 replies. Uh, Miss Lee says she's very much against it. I asked why. She says because in the word it says the word. It says that thou shall not kill. Oh, okay. And uh, not God. She says God has the last say. Okay. Um, I agree. T Bear. Well, we're gonna talk about that one too. T Bear says nobody should play God. Nobody got room to judge anybody. Mm. And I'm gonna say. My reply to that was, I said, but don't we all get judged in public opinion in the courtroom? Absolutely. Cetera, right? She says, but um, who cast the first stone? If you point one finger, it's 10 pointing back at you. She can't okay. add. That math ain't math. <laughs> yeah. You point one finger, how 10 come back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Bernadette says she's very much for the death penalty. Sonia says she's against the death penalty. Um, she says, I believe in rehabilitation. You know, mm-hmm. that that's a lovely sentiment. Mm-hmm. And I wish that jail did, did that, but they don't. Right. They don't. Well, she says, I believe in uh, rehabilitation and repentance. I believe most, not all, criminals can change for the better. Not only am I against the death penalty, I think we should invest more in re- rehabilitation. Incarceration shouldn't be a time to sit and rot or worse. Learn to be a better criminal, which is te- te- technically what, what they are. Yeah, criminal yeah. University. Yeah. Right. Um, as someone who hopes all people will accept God's forgiveness and grace, I see the death penalty as a mechanism that might eliminate the time a person might have needed to face themselves and their demons to turn to God. Okay. Okay. I really wish there was more, you know, people used to be angry that, that, uh, prisons could get their GED or that they right. could go to college right. and people was just like, that is God awful. You know, I can't afford to send my child to college. And I'm just like, 
that is going to make them a better person right. when they come oh, home. And the, you, the fit, you have to have them fit. You can't put them back in the and, same. Right. Actually, you'd be worse off. Right. Uh, right. Like, so, yeah, give them a skill. They will be a better person. And maybe they're not kicking your door in because they have some <laughs> knowledge and can get a job now. Doc Bali says. But nobody yeah. wants to. He says, yes, with an explanation. wants to employ. Uh, right, uh, yeah. right. That's the, that's a whole setup, too. Um, arrested, prosecuted, and convicted a murdered uh, defendant. Okay, so he's for anybody who commits a murder. Right. Um, like, say, something like he cut the head off of his victim, in prison he killed a cellmate, or later attacked a jail guard. He says, at what point do you weigh the life of others over this one individual? Mm. So I, I, I definitely get that part, too. And he says, I believe serial murders, murderers um, or serial spree. Mm-hmm. Well, I say serial spree. Murder spree. Murderers should be an exception. So, boom. Uh, Percival, he says, yes. Because uh, he has, <laughs> they have rapists and pedos. Okay. In the world. Okay. So, okay. not just for, for murderers. He said right. rapists and pedophiles. Right. Now, Nikki's kind of along what you said. Nikki says, I would if justice was actually blind, mm. which means that neither the judge or jury could see the defendant. Um, they would be in another room and their voice would be disguised. Also, you can't bring up nonviolent or non-proven violent incidents from their past. So she's saying make them totally. Oh. You can't see them. You can't hear them. So that means their family can't be in a court. Right. It's totally hmm. blind. That's that, that's that's different. That is different. Yeah. That's interesting. Because if people were just judged on the facts of the case without prejudice, then I would consider it. Mm. it says uh, considering the number of people put to death later to be found innocent, yep. I just can't support it now. Yep. Okay. So she makes a very mm-hmm. good valid point. Valid yeah. Point. Okay. Um, James says nope. He says I don't think it's our place. Our criminal justice system is not based on vengeance, but punishment and rehabilitation. Mm. Okay. Also. And most importantly to him, it's too easy for innocent people to be found guilty and convicted. Yep. If someone is wrongfully convicted and serves 10, 20, or even 30 years, as cool and horrible as that may be, they can get released and some kind of compensation can be made. And I don't think there's not enough compensation it's for that, not, but, but you can say yeah. you, can, you can get redeemed. Yeah. Um, if that innocent person is executed, and I'm sure it's happened, there is no kind of recompense, recompense. <laughs> Yeah. Or release. I got, yeah. yeah. That's true. Th- then what you going to do? You're right. All right. Say, I'm sorry, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, that right. we put your kid to, to, you know, we killed your child. My fault, man. Right. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> like, what are you going to do? Robin says, I'm highly against it. However, I do believe there should be exceptions. Okay. Which is, I think most right, people are right. saying it. Um, repeated, offend- repeated offenders that clearly aren't a one time offender and are clearly dangerous to society represent the exception. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to be the one responsible for making that decision, but I do believe it. Mm, you got to take some responsibility in that. So I kind of, I'm kind of more leaning towards what she said. Um, when I wouldn't be, I don't care about being responsible for making that decision, but you know, somebody who's, who's constantly doing this stuff mm-hmm, or, right, yeah, or right. even, even once if you have like no remorse you know, and then I think you should also look in a person's background and right, their mental right. uh, history. And, like that. you know, the situation, the the, the environment, the situation mm-hmm. that gets them in trouble in the first place. And then you release them back into that same environment. Right. And then you put all the restrictions of probation and you got to get a job and none of those things happen for you. And now you're a repeat offender. Right. Hmm. Vicky says, depends on the crime. I do believe any heinous crime against a child should be punished by death. Some don't deserve to live amongst us. Go ahead, Miss Vicky. I'm right. to her. And Dawn, she says, uh, yes, for heinous crimes committed. What's considered yeah. a heinous crime? What do you think? Like, uh, Well, a crime against a child. Mm-hmm. You know, I, 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 Sandy Hook. Oh, um, for sure. You know, for sure. all of those kind of things. Yeah. Um, Columbine, yeah. like all of those kind of things. It is just time. It's just, just let them go. I, yeah, there's no reason why you still should still be here. Diana says, no, never. Too many innocent people are being unalived. Let the guilty people live and suffer to the end. Unalived. That's right. That is yeah. a, a <laughs> word. <laughs> yeah, people use that instead of saying the unalived. actual, the, yeah, death oh. or stuff like that on social media for fear of maybe flagging the post or oh, stuff like yeah, that. Okay. Yes. 
Is so, that like the unhoused? Like they don't say homeless people anymore. Yeah, they say unhoused. Yeah, correct. Oh, okay. But um, right. so they don't un- don't unalive me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> please don't unalive me. So as far as the poll goes, the most of the people who who um did the poll said undecided. Mm. Then some said the uh, supported it, and the least amount said I do not support it. Okay. The okay. least amount said the least amount. Not. Okay. Right. So it's hard. It's a, it's a sticky wicket, as they would say. It is it's hard to to say. Muhammad says the record of our justice system is biased. Facts. <laughs> Powerful lawyers can sway the arms of justice in favor of those who can afford them, and the poor are left hanging. No pun intended. Facts. Um, how many? Oh, literally. <laughs> how many rich criminals have ever been put in a uh, death row situation? I can't think of any. I can't either. Okay, it's a dismal record when you see so many disproportionately from the minorities, right? Mm-hmm. We, we pulled it we out. That, yeah. Who were acquitted after years of incarceration and awaiting execution? Uh, the exonerated five, the oh, Central yeah. Park. Yeah. And if Donald Trump had his way, he would he have executed execute them, them right. immediately. Um, who was the guy recently who killed? Did he kill his son and his wife? Very rich Murdoch. I oh, say. that's right. From South Carolina. Yeah. That's right. yeah. So, yeah. Killed his you know son, what? killed his wife. I'm not, And they, they think that he might be some more. Right. You know, in, 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 in all that property somewhere. But that I don't think that's a clear cut. Uh Really? Yeah, I don't think it was as clear cut as it it, it should have been to say death penalty. Why? Yeah, because well, when I when I when I say death penalty, I mean like um, like Jeffrey Dahmer had people in his refrigerator. Yeah, you know, or they got him on video yeah. or something along those lines. You didn't hear about that? Yeah, he was eating. Yeah, he was meeting uh, men, taking them home to his apartment, homosexuals. Yeah, right. And killing them and and eating them and then storing some of the. Parts Body of his parts. Yeah. Oh, for future use. Yeah, I guess. Maybe he was going to make stew later. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Yeah, that is I mean, clearly he was not well. Right. And and right. that's another it that's another thing. Like are you mentally So a lot of people just try to claim that they're not okay. We're not really right, responsible. Right. Yeah. yeah. But I think that's at some point, thing. some things you got to I don't care what you say or do. Some things you got to have a a mental issue to do do the things oh, you do. Oh, absolutely. You know, absolutely. you sitting there and you know, you actually chewing on a finger. Right. Absolutely. You know, like the guy what was it was it Vegas or whatever? <laughs> she <laughs> is laughing, chewing. but it's true. Chewing <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a finger. Yeah. He, yeah, he was. Oh my god. He was. That's crazy. But yeah, this is a this is a deep topic and it I think really is. it is I don't think there's any, you know, right or wrong answer. Mm-hmm. Seems like people are I won't say evenly split, but the people who are definitely against it was more vocal. Yeah, yeah, I can understand you know, the that. polls. The polls, the poll actually, we just put a you know, click a button or whatever. Right. Well, people for well, no one to say, so people don't judge and be like, oh no, they told you you're, or maybe for a debate or something like that. Like, oh, people keep going back and forth to say, mm. oh, so you're for it, blah blah blah, and everybody's you know, so. Hmm. And then it's easier to say. most people did bring up the the wrongful convictions, mm-hmm. right? So that was how do you address that? Yeah. You know, you can't. Right. You can't. Um. Some of the things that cost. Some studies suggest that the death penalty is more expensive than life imprisonment. I don't see how. I don't either. But okay. But what electric bill? I, I, oh, <laughs> so I, that I, was I, just wrong. Too soon. Hey, Too listen. soon. <laughs> <laughs> that was just wrong. And then you got to consider also the victim's families, mm-hmm. and you know, um, do you, do you consider public opinion? What do you mean? Like, say if. Um, you have a case. Uh, oh, like it's a, a big case. Like, a, like in an the OJ news. case. Yeah. yeah. You consider, well, and, and you know how they always do the polls and people are saying, yeah, he needs to, do right. you consider that? No, it, no. Okay. I think I, it should be whatever's happening in that court right. room. I don't, I don't think you should take public opinion. Cause, cause that's no. going on emotions and they didn't right. get everything. Yet. And like I like we just said, if we went by public opinion, listening to Donald Trump, those men would have, would have young boys. Cause they were young boys at the time mm. would have been killed. Um, and clearly it came out later that they were not guilty. All five of them. Ooh. Yeah. So you, you never, we can never get a right, wrong answer on this. Now, do you think education plays a part in that? No. I do. I do. Cause I, okay. Uh, you, oh. All right. You say, you say yes. I say yes. Okay. 
Well, I, I say yes because, like, normally, normally, mm -hmm. uh, people who are highly educated or somewhat educated are going to move in a different circle. Okay. And are, are going to do things differently and maybe achieve things differently okay. and, and not possibly be in a position to have to commit a crime. Okay. So I think it's, I think it may, I'll say that. I think may. it may because there are some people out there who are brilliant and Ted Bundy oh, was yeah. absolutely brilliant, <laughs> you know, but he right. was going around killing young girls. Right. So I think at some point, in, in some point, it, it education makes a difference. And you said, well, I said no, because it depends on who you are. I feel like, it just depends on who you are. You right. might be, sometimes you use your intelligence for evil bad things, things, bad right. things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it really matters that it matters to, I think it just depends on your morals or your, yes, morals more than education. Okay. So I had a, I had a, a statistic here. I hope I still have it about the education of. I can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> it. All right, here you go. Death row inmates have lower educational attainment than the rest of the country. Okay, so oh, really? yeah, oh. so they looked at um, the share the share of death row inmates um, by grade. Um, I guess they what they completed. Mm -hmm. So they had eleven. This is high. Woo, eleven point six percent um, eighth grade or less. Jeez. That would be like middle school. Yeah. 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 So how do you um, stop going to school in middle school? Yeah. Your parents. Yeah. So their share is 3% of the overall. Right. You know? And then there was a, uh, from ninth to 11th grade, which is 34.9%. Yikes. They, they were 6.5% of the death row uh, inmates. High school graduate represent 44% of the uh, population and 27.84% of the death row inmates. So yeah. it looks like the more education you get, you get a higher percentage of it. Wow. And then any college, any college, there's only 9.2% that has any college that's in there. Right. But um, they made up 62 point. Am I reading this wrong? Share the referral. So you saying the more education you have, the more, the more likely you're going to be. No, I think I'm saying share of overall population. Okay. So any, I can't believe this one. Uh, you, you mean to tell me 62.3% of the population had any college? I don't know if I could believe that one. I don't know either. I don't know. Okay, so I, I was I was actually reading it backwards. backwards. So, mm -hmm. so the more education you have... The less likely you're going to commit a crime. Yes. No, that doesn't make sense either. Because <laughs> <laughs> this one's like... So are you supposed to have your statistics I'm, straight before but it, we get it's, all it's, All right, so it says share of death row population... That's the blue part. The right? blue, right. So they're um, 9.2%. But it says share of overall population is 62 point. I don't believe that. Yeah. I don't believe that 62% of the population had some have, college. Have college where, you know, the GED and the, the no, I don't believe that. So yeah. I'm going to have to look at that because I throw it out the window. So what do you think? Do you think education plays a part in? Oh, I do. Yeah. I think education plays a part in them going to jail. Right. And, and actually being involved in criminal activity. Right. Which then leads to that, you know, right. the other the possibility. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like you're less likely to, you know, you put some time into your education yeah. and you're less likely, like I said, to, to possibly be in that situation. But there's always, you know, and there's always that small group of people who can't stop hanging around people who do things. Right. You know, you've gone to school, you got a decent job, you're, you're educated and you, you are moving in the right right direction but you have your friends over here who who may be stuck in this position that you can't seem to let go of so you remember the guy um what's his name he's from dc he was a like a serial killer um the and sniper not, no not in the well he got he got the death penalty mm -hmm. right but this this is the guy um he was in he was his character was in the uh movie paid in full I don't know. He was offing people down. I forgot his name. I can't uh, can't remember. But he killed a lot of people. Yeah, that, those are the cases that right. should get the death penalty. Right. I mean, that's yeah. You know, but I don't know. Anyways, we we at um. Ten, don't you put that me. commercial on anymore? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> they got to pay for that. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> 
All right, so um, some of the upcoming episodes we have um, is... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? It was... Um, it was well, we'll let you know. I, I told, no, what was we was going to do? We still haven't done uh, the movie review. We still oh, haven't the mo- done that's right. Deadpool uh, or Wolverine. Deadpool and so Wolverine. And we'll we're going to have secret confessions. Secret. We have. Who's confessing? Th- that could be anything. It's not like how it's it like was before. Co- you can confess. <laughs> I'm going to tell all your secrets. You can confess or I'm going to tell. Um, and then we need a word of the day. Uh, ooh, let's pick something out of this shenanigans. That's not too... Um, Morbid. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's I, just, I was going to use. What, was, what were you going to use? <laughs> I would say electrified. Oh, no. Pyro. How about pyro? Pyro? Pyro. Oh, parole. Parole. Yes. Parole. Parole. You want to use okay. parole? All parole. right. That's going to be it. The word of the day is parole. So the word of the day is parole. So remember, you guys, when you read this, make sure you get these things done. Because at the end of the month, we're going to give our pre-gift. Prize. Is that you get a prize. The prize. So, and um, also, we like to thank our sponsors. We got sponsors. We have sponsors. We have sponsors. No, that's that's, being I hope fancy it's, it's and not, I hope it's not the, it's not the insurance. <laughs> <laughs> this program is sponsored by <laughs> Galactic Insurance. Stop oh it. No. <laughs> For all your extraterrestrial mm-hmm. needs. Okay. Nobody's going to take us seriously if you, stop, <laughs> if you don't stop with that. And we also have, <clears throat> excuse me, we have our, uh, Oh my goodness! Brain fart. <sighs> yes. He always has that. It's a normal, it's a normal <laughs> thing. So it's not strange. Is it an old person thing? Yeah. No, it, we have um, a retiree theme. Oh, that there you go. Pizza City. Pizza City. And what was it? City Pizza. City Pizza. There you go. See, <laughs> see, Pizza City. <laughs> Pizza City, and we have uh, the Purple, Purple Flip. Flip. Purple Flip. Purple Flip. Check them out, you guys. Um, 6035 Living Road. And we, did we ever give the address to that one? To Purple Flip? Yeah. Hmm. Technical difficulties. Oh, there we go. Okay, so, yes. Check out our sponsors. The Purple Flip at 9123 Town Road, Owings Mills, Maryland. And you can get that delicious smoothie delicious. and juice, juices. And they had some other stuff, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, what day was it? Saturdays? Saturdays, I think you can oh, get Oh, they the, had the sandwich? The, yes, the burger. Yeah, the, 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 the veggie. It's, it smelled. I haven't had it, but okay. it smelled okay. delicious. My daughter, Miss Picky Eater, she loved it. So check them out. And um, thank you all for tuning in. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, I, I was listening to Darth Vader over there, just, just <laughs> written in. She's like, because <sighs> I have a block to know. <laughs> Hater. <laughs> All right. Thank you, family, for listening to the latest episode of Hot Topics. As usual, listen, like, share, subscribe. Ta. What I'm doing